Airbus success story comes from a time of slow growth, patience, and a variety of aircraft that were capable of changing the way that we see the air travel industry. The company emerged as an aircraft manufacturer where they started off competing in the dynamic twin-engine market. Airbus deliveries plunged 35% between 2019 and 2020, just one year after the European plane maker had stolen Boeing's crown as the world's biggest seller of airplanes. Boeing's deliveries fell by more than half, hurt by the twin disasters of both the pandemic and Boeing's 787 MAX fiasco. Globally, according to Reuters estimates, Airbus now holds about a 78% market share in commercial airplane deliveries so far in 2022. Airbus dramatically expanding lead in research and development spending sets up Airbus to continue outperforming its rival in the years to come. The figures show the extent to which Airbus' recent success depends on its flagship A320 family of aircraft, with 483 of the model delivered in 2021 or almost 80% of the total. Airbus has also been selected by Qantas to operate the longest flight in the world. 20 hours to cover the 10,500 miles between London and Sydney in December 2019. After launching a tender to the two manufacturers, Qantas announced that it was choosing the A350-1000 rather than the Boeing 777X. Airbus's situation seems solid and the future looks bright. The group may hire between 1,500 and 2,000 people in France, and potentially 5,000 worldwide. The group has exceeded US$100 billion in market valuation. Airbus shares rose 59% in 2019 and the company begins 2020 at the top of the French stock market index CAC40.